back to the run and rev channel and you know what today is it's valentine's day oh my god i've waited on this day for like four months now don't get me wrong i love my girlfriend and uh she's good to me if you know what i mean but man look at the curves on that cabbage plant oh my god I love it. Mwah. Hey, look, though. I picked these up for $10 for 18 plants. I know that we're trying to stay under a $30 budget here, so I'm only going to use eight plants, which should bring us up to around 20 cents so far into our project. Um, I'm only going to use the eight because there's no way this area could contain 18 cabbages and may stay under cost so we're just going to put eight out that's plenty enough for this one spot that's plenty enough for everybody but anyhow i'm going to get one planted i'm going to give you some instructions on how i do it and then from there we'll move on and i'm not going to tell you what name or what kind of cabbage that i'm planting right now i'm going to let it grow some can i have some fun with you and see if people can guess it but let me find out where I'm going to plant this one. Let me show you the process I use. All right. Now, this is the ground that we've already cut the, the compost into. Now, I'm out here by myself, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my spot that I want to plant. Okay. Now, remember, we done cut one uh, small little bit of compost in here. And I see some compost right there, some dark chicken crap. That's all it is. I'm going to put that right there in the bottom. And I have some dry chicken litter right here. Now that seems like a lot, I know. But what I'm going to do is scoop some of it out and mix it up. Okay. I'm just going to get in this pot going there. And you could leave the cup on it. This is the biogradable, biogradable cup that I always take it off. <coughs> and then mash it down. Kind of get your water ring going. All right. Now, <coughs> that's about as simple as I can put it for you. I've got two more to plant, and I will space them out. But right now, let's address something that was brought to my attention the other day by somebody that I do a lot of. <laughs> I could be online by saying this, but everything that I've learned in the gardening process of growing, you know, my own food and, and food enough to sustain several people on was never from a book. Uh, we did have classes in my high school that dealt with farming, F F A. Uh, but I always figured, why in the hell would I want to go to a class when I had to do it at home? So, you know, I never did take FFA in school. Uh, I learned everything from word of mouth, like my grandfather told me and his dad taught him, and it just got passed on. And I'm the type of person that when I see an older farmer I stop and I listen to what they tell me and I take note to what they tell me like what signs to plant what in what moon phase to plant this in how to kill this grass with something that they learned as a kid uh, how to fertilize this the proper way what kind of corn to plant facing this direction you know so to me it is very important to learn that way um, 
When I first graduated high school, I talked to my grandfather about going to school to learn commercial farming. And I never will forget what my grandfather told me. He said, son, that paper that you'd leave that school with is worth two things in my book. I said, what's that? He said, well, one's to wipe your ass on when you run out of toilet paper, and the other one's to target practice that if you ever need to sight your gun in. You can't learn how to grow something by reading a book. You can't. You can learn the idea of growing it, but you're not actually growing it. This is how you learn. My grandfather told me that he did not own any of his land. He was just borrowing it from the good Lord above, and it was his job to take care of it until the end of his days. Then he could pass it on to us, and then it was our job to take care of it. Now we've done that. You know, I don't put a lot of harmful stuff on my ground. Uh, I don't go by industrial standards. I don't go by the directions on a plant. I go by what I think is right for that plant and what I've learned through the years. And that's what these videos are about. These videos aren't to show you how to grow something. These videos are showing you how I grow something and what I can do for that amount of money. You may be able to do something completely different, you know? But I can tell you right now, I'm probably going to have, if the deer do not get these, and I've got to run an electric fence this weekend, but if the deer don't get these, out of eight cabbages, I don't doubt I can have 60 to 70 pounds of cabbage right here in this little spot. I don't doubt it. You know, if the weather's right and the conditions are, are, are good for this type of cabbage, I, I, I know they can get 25 to 30 pounds a piece. I've grown them before that big. Okay. Uh, <coughs> but it's got to be just right. You know, things have to kind of click. I can't change the weather. I can't keep the deer out. I'm not going to sit down here at night and shoot everything that comes across through here. I'm just not going to do that. It's not the way I am. But I will run an electric fence, and I will have a different garden spot over there also. This is for just this video series, a 30 by 30. So we're going to get it done. I've got two more cabbage plants to put in the ground, and then I'm done. I've got a woman to go cook for. She's getting steak and flowers tonight, and I'm getting a hamburger patty. I'm not much on steak. As you can tell with my gut, I have to eat small and light. But anyhow, I appreciate everybody for subscribing. I appreciate the comments. A lot of them's helping me out. Uh, I get ideas from your videos, and it, it gives me a train of thought to do some on this subject or that subject. And I get down here, and I totally forget what I'm going to do it on. And I just go by my gut. But please leave a comment. Please hit like, subscribe. You know, I'm not going to say leave me a donation because it doesn't cost anything to do these videos. But I've got to go. So for running rail, I hope y'all have a great week, and I will talk to y'all later. Yes, sir.